reveal the topology where you take a flat length of paper and put a half twist in it, then connect the ends. Then I also showed how when you cut it right down the middle and go all the way around, you're still left with one piece, but that one piece is not a Mobius strip as it has more than a half twist in it. Then we also saw how if we start our cut about a third of the way in rather than the middle and go around twice, we end up with two pieces that are linked together. But there are plenty more interesting results that we can get. Like what if now I decided to put one, two, three half twists in this strip and then cut it down the middle? Well, let's see what happens. And here we have, hold up, I'm going to need a flat surface for this. The bends in the paper are making it not behave well, so I just got to press everything down. Now, what we have here, if you can tell, is a knot. You can see if we start somewhere and follow the paper all the way around, we get to the original spot and the loop just keeps going. So it is one connected piece, not rings like before. This is actually a specific type of knot known as the trefoil knot. Here, let me try rearranging it so it looks more like the graphic. Now this isn't a knot like in your shoelaces where they have loose ends. Because in this case there's nothing I can do to unknot the paper without tearing it. But if I could tear it or move the knot through itself in just one location like here, it would become totally unknotted, otherwise known as the unknot. To demonstrate moving it through itself, I will just cut it in one location and retape the pieces on the other side of that crossing. And now if you just rearrange the paper a little, you'll see we no longer have a knot. Since I was able to do that in one cut, one is the unknotting number of our trefoil knot. That's not too difficult to see, but it's not as obvious that, for example, this stevedore knot with six crossings rather than three also has an unknotting number of one, while the sink foil knot with five crossings has an unknotting number of two. We can see several other unknotting numbers here as well. But it turns out that determining those numbers is actually not so easy to do mathematically. We know it for several of these simpler knots, but for example, we haven't determined it for this knot here. When you move into higher dimensions, you'll see there's a lot of unsolved problems there, actually. But let's go back to that Mobius strip and answer another question. What would I have to cut in half in order to get two Mobius strips? Or what shape would I get if I could sew these together? Well, the answer is that Klein bottle I mentioned earlier which is a shape that only exists in four dimensions. That means if you really did connect two Mobius strips, like Numberphile has shown before, you only get a 3D representation of the Klein bottle, which is the best we can do. To make a real Klein bottle, you need access to a fourth spatial dimension. If you're wondering why, it's because right here it appears like the Klein bottle is intersecting itself, and in three dimensions it is. But a true Klein bottle does not self-intersect, and that's only possible if this is embedded in a higher dimension. However, the Klein bottle is still a two-dimensional manifold, meaning close up or locally it looks like a two-dimensional plane since this really is just a surface. See, this is just like the surface.